It's a free space. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come Okay, everybody, welcome to my second game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the Super NES, in which so far I've won myself $25,000 in one game. I'll let's see if I can win more. Get on to that $25,000 magical number. Liz and Jim are my opponents. Let's play the Jeopardy round. And we have these as our six categories. Football. Musical theater. G whiz. The letter G in quotation marks. We have fine china. We've got clothing. And to end it all, we have world history. All right. Start with G whiz for 100. The answer is... It can be a type of engineless aircraft or a porch swing. What is a glider? I'll take G Wiz for 200. The answer is. In Indian Bagnall's most famous novel, Velvet won this race. Liz. It is the Grand National. Oh, yeah. So Liz takes the lead for now with $200 as I try to add on to my $25,000 I won in game one. G Wiz, 300. The answer is. Okay. If you were born in January, you may know that this is the only birthstone that fits the category, that fits this category. What is a garnet? And then the lead will be mine again. I'll take G Wiz for 400. The answer is... Shakespeare's father made these accessories for a living. I think I know, but I'm going to hold back. Well, Liz decides to buzz in. Let's see if she'll take the lead. Oh, gloves. Okay, I was thinking either glasses or gondolas for some reason, but Liz got it right. She takes the lead back and has the next selection. World history for a hundred. The answer is... Okay. A member of Columbus's second expedition, he went on to discover Florida. Who is Ponce de Leon? I'll go with world history for 200. The answer is... A descendant of the Mughals, Barber be Baber began this Mughal dynasty in what's now this country. I'm going to say what is Mongolia. No, it's not Mongolia, so I lose a little bit of some money. Jim decides to buzz in. Let's see if he knows the answer better than I do. India. Okay, so he got it right. So he has a little bit of some cash. $200 to be exact. Now we're to find China for 100. The answer is. Okay. Yes, dear. This 1942 Disney film inspired a set of plates featuring little animals. What is Bambi? Find China for 200. The answer is. Flora Danica China was originally made as a gift for this country's Empress Catherine II. What is Russia? Now will tie me for the lead. 
Alright, tied for the lead. I'll go with the Fine China for 300. The answer is. The first bone china, which really is made from bones, was made in this country circa 1800. Um, what is. China? Or is it Mexico? I'm gonna say what is Mexico. No, I shouldn't have. Maybe it is China, so I dropped back down to three hundred dollars. Kind of seesawing back and forth. Uh, Jim. Oh, it's England. Okay, so I was wrong either way. So Jim takes second place for now. But we continue. Football for a hundred. The answer is okay. In the 1920s, Grantland Rice called this college's backfield the Four Horsemen. I'm going to say what is Notre Dame. I know they're known as the Fighting Irish, but I'll just say what is Notre Dame. There we go. Football for 200. The answer is... The Embraceable U's are the cheerleading squad of this NFL team. I'm gonna say, what are the Los? Who are the Los Angeles Rams? That's right. Tied for the lead. Football for three hundred. The answer is. Answer there. The first two Super Bowls were won by this Midwest team. I'm gonna go through the Green Bay Packers. Uh-huh. Football for 400. I'm in the lead right now by myself. The answer is... Okay. In college play, the ball is placed on this yard line for the point after touchdown attempt. Oh, so it was the 50-yard line. No, so I dropped down to second place, tied with Jim at $500. Eey. Keep playing at this rate, and I won't add to my $25,000. Let's see if Jim got it, knows it. It is the three-yard line. Okay, I got it. So Jim takes the lead for now with $900, and he makes the next selection, which is going to be clothing for $100. The answer is... Okay. Some dictionaries say the name of this short coat came from the French for Jacob. What is a jacket? There we go. Tied with Liz for second place. Clothing for 200. Let's keep going. From all of English brock or lead coverings, you might be too big for yours. What are britches? I'll go with clothing for 300. Getting close to Jim right now. The answer is. Simeon slang for a tuxedo. What is a monkey suit? Okay. I'll go with um, clothing for 400. The answer is. Getting close to the lead. Himalayan goat whose fine downy wool is turned into luxurious sweaters. What is uh, the cashmere goat? Uh-huh. Clothing for 500. I'm at 1500 right now. And I got the daily double. Let's just do 500. It's an extension of the collar folded over against the breast. What is a lapel? There we go, up to $2,000. I'll take, um, gee whiz for 500. Besides being goddesses, Aglaia, Euphrosine, and Thalia are these. Jim. They're graces, uh-huh. They are all graces. So Jim goes up to 1400 Okay, now we're two. Football for 500. The answer is. 
This Ohio State coach was fired for hitting a Clemson player in the 1978 Gator Bowl. Liz. Woody Hayes. Okay. So she got that one right. Goes up to $1,100. Is still in third place, but she makes the next election. Which is going to be Fine China for 400 The answer is... You can buy copies of the China this architect designed for Tokyo's Imperial Hotel. Who is, uh, I am Pei. No. Oh, I think I know who it is now. Yeah, Liz buzzes in. She'll take second place if she answers correctly. And yeah, she got it. Frank Lloyd Wright. Yep. 1500 now. Okay. Find China for 500. The answer is. Answer there. Don't weep for Thomas Minton, the 18th century potter who made this woody pattern still used today. What is Willow? There we go. 2100. I'll go to World History for 300. The in 1670, this fur trading corporation was chartered by Charles II to operate in Canada. Oh, I forget what that's called. Let's see if Jim knows this. Oh, the Hudson's Bay Company. That's right. I forgot. So Jim takes second place. It's at 1700, and uh, he makes the next election, which is musical theater for 100. The yeah, answer is. Yes, Toto, in 1903, this was a Broadway musical complete with Cyclone. What is The Wizard of Oz? Musical theater for 200. The answer is... The fiddler on the roof is fiddling on a roof in this country. What is Russia? I'll take musical theater for 300. The answer is... Country that's the setting of the king and I. What is Siam, now known today as Thailand? Musical theater for 400. The answer is... The so title song of Stephen Sondheim's flop 1964 musical verd, Anyone Can Do This. What is Whistle? So now put me over three thousand dollars. I'll take um, the five hundred dollar clue in uh, musical theater. The answer is this nineteen sixty six musical based on Jean de Hartog's The Four Poster requires only two performers and a bed. Jim, you're looking for I do I do, and that is correct. We have two clues left, Jim. You're up to twenty two hundred. He will now pick the $400 clue in world history. Uh, let's look at it, please. The answer is... He won the Nobel Prize in 1950 for his work as a UN mediator between Israel and the Arabs. Jim. Dr. Ralph Bunch. That is correct. Now the last clue. Before we go to Double Jeopardy, that is. Okay. The answer is... Answer there. In 1957, Morocco's Muhammad V changed his title from this to king. 